Well, a blast from the past is rolling into the L.A. Convention Center. The classic auto show takes place this weekend. NBC4's Jonathan Gonzalez shows us how things are starting to rev up down there. Jonathan. Hey guys, good morning. Yes, so the doors opened just about an hour ago. There's already a pretty good sized crowd here. We do want to show you one of the cool cars that you won't see in the story we're about to show you. It's a 1966 classic Chevy Bel Air, just beautiful. You know, this show was only in the UK for so many years, so this is the very first time we get to see this show here in the US. Yeah, they're pretty, they're shiny, and they're classic. Essentially, all of these cars are a piece of art. Urban Exposition's classic auto show is making its U.S. debut right here in L.A. You're going to see a variety of, of cars, uh, muscle cars, some low riders, some hot rods. Over here, they have the oldest car at the show, the 1915 American LaFrance Speedster. They have classic Cadillacs. They have this beautiful Rolls Royce. Over here, they have the invisible car. Okay, maybe not, but more than 50 car clubs are bringing their best to the show. The mecca of, of culture is here in L.A. for cars, so this is, this is where we want to be. This is where we want to put our, our first inaugural event. From the very first production Shelby Cobra to the very Jeep, Ronald Reagan drove around his ranch near Santa Barbara. They have more than 600 vehicles that car lovers can appreciate. Behind every one of these cars, you have these collectors, and they put their heart and soul and sweat and blood into these cars. Fred Lax is one of them. It's a three-speed, but it's got tremendous, tremendous torque. His 1930 Cadillac convertible Roadster is his prized possession. If I wanted to buy this car from you today, how much are you pricing me at? I wouldn't sell it. What does it take to restore a car like this? Time, patience, and money. And then after all that, more money. <laughs> That's something millennials like me might struggle with. I'm told millennials can't appreciate the beauty even when they're sitting in it. Hello? No, in fact, it's actually artwork. It's artwork. What most can appreciate is the passion and the stories that lie behind each and every car. Just, just love it. I feel very fortunate. So the show goes until Sunday here at the convention center. We have all the info on NBCLA.com and the NBCLA app. We want to show you one last car. This is the Frankenford. It's so sweet. It has like Frankenstein stitching over here. It has chains and of course the decal right on the top of the car here, right at the front, the Frankenstein head. And Wit, I want to thank you for loaning me the money to put the down payment on this car. <laughs> I'm taking it home with me. Hey, Reporting in downtown LA, <laughs> Jonathan Gonzalez. Absolutely. All right, that's guys, right. I'll toss it back to you. If you ever look at your cell phone while sitting in one of those cars again, <laughs> that's it. That's it. Breaking hearts. Yeah. I know. Right, so millennial. I know. <laughs> Asking you for a loan, exactly. too. So millennial. Thank you so much. Okay.